Welcome back to Wasteland 2. Let's continue on from the Temple of Titan, or at least what once was the Temple of Titan, and apparently let's move on to the Wasteland. I say apparently because I'm pretty sure before, this just took you to another place, not out to the overhead map. But I guess everything has changed since everything went crazy. Yeah, what? So can I not go to the Canyon of Titan? Because I just left the Temple of Titan, but it just put me out past the canyon. This is really confusing. And... Where is Demonta? I thought Demonta was through here. But I never saw it. Uh, I'm confused. Let's try to go to the canyon. Okay, so I can go to the canyon? Huh? No, this is not the canyon. Th what? We made it through the radiation into a twisting canyon, which we'll need to wind our way through to reach to Monta. I'm very confused. So the canyon doesn't exist anymore? Because why? What? <laughs> that was weird. Like, wait. My group just got super fast. A vendor approaches you, adjusting his hair. Uh, sure, let's investigate. Dave Oshry. Oh my god. Looking slick. Hey, name's Oshri. Dave Oshri. But just call me Oshri. Wait, what? Huh? What? What do you mean by the best? What? No one. Who said anything about the best? What is this even referring to? Have I entered some sort of a Twilight Zone? I don't know why I can't enter the canyon. I don't know what the hell this dialogue option is about. Wh uh, okay, the best. What? And then he just spit out like four different. Th what? Uh, what do you have? Just show me what you have. Wait, what? But tell me why the hell should I sell to you? Who are you out here for anyway? Actually, scratch that. I don't want to know. Just answer the first goddamn question. It's been a long day. I, you should sell because we can pay? Uh, who the fuck is this guy? That ain't good enough, brother. Like I said, I don't sell to just anybody. And you're just anybody till you're somebody, baby. Okay. We're Ranger Team Echo, we brokered peace at Rail Nomads. Well shit, that was you? Why the hell didn't you say so sooner? Let me show you what I got to trade, hero. Oh, okay. The motherfucking best. Okay. You sell rockets that I don't care about. Uh, Alright, bye. Actually, hold on. I should probably tell, sell you my scrap. <laughs> you don't- you barely have any- you barely have any money. Fuck you. Wait a minute. Oh, there's more. Hard ass level eight. That's not gonna happen. Oh, wait, he wants to kill me. 
because I'm wasting his time and not buying anything. I guess I could talk him out of it if I had hard-ass level 8, but I don't. Well, I'm not gonna give him money. Fuck him. We're about to waste more than your time, Ashri. That's cute, boys. Let's get him. I thought you were the good guys? Wait, I'm sorry, I'm... We're bad people because we defend ourselves against people that are trying to rob us? Okay. I don't know what the hell is going on anymore. But I do know I'm about to unleash multiple cans of whoop-ass. Ow. That really, really hurt. My god, you're terrible, Corn Gain. This is totally over the top, but I don't care. Wait, who's left? Oh, right, you. Alright, that was, uh, interesting. I don't- I still don't understand why a dialogue option popped up that didn't refer to anything we were actually talking about. I don't understand why I can't enter the canyon. It's just the canyon's apparently gone. I don't know how to reach Demonta, because I thought I had to reach it through the canyon, but it, it doesn't seem to be a pathway? Crumpled greenback. Oh yeah, I guess cash is not actually money. Which is ironic. It's literally labeled junk. Well, looky that. I don't even have to buy his shit. I can just steal it from him. Okay, so if I enter the Temple of Titan, it's just going to take me to the same place as the canyon, right? Yeah, it just takes me to the other side. That is so weird. Okay, so Demonta's somewhere here, I guess? Ooh. I don't need any more Amigo pants. Fishing hat. Huh. Have to try that on. Ooh, it's a submachine gun. Hmm. Pazepi might like that. Although, hmm. It looks cool, but it's not actually worth much money. So I don't think it's very good, but maybe. Oh, 
Oh shit, yeah. There's DeMonta. Okay. Uh, cool. I... I don't know what the hell the developers were thinking with how they handled this. It, it almost feels like they just gave up. Like they ran out of time and just couldn't develop the story any further. I don't know. I mean, I went to Silo 7, disabled the nuke, and that set off a chain reaction back here. And then I went back here and I thought there'd be more stuff for me to do, but there really isn't. Just, they for some reason delete the canyon so you can't even enter it for no apparent reason. And then the story doesn't develop any further and none of it, like, really matters. It comes across horrendously clumsy. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to take from that, but that was just really bizarre. Okay. DeMonta! I just keep scratching my head, like I'm trying to leave that in the past and just forget about it because it's just so freaking confusing and weird. There you are, Team Echo. Good to hear your voice. We've been worried about you. Have you reached DeMonte yet? Mm-hmm. Well done. I want a full briefing at a later date. But right now, finding that radio tower is of the utmost urgency. Mm-hmm. The broadcasts we have been receiving from the unknown transmitter are becoming more alarming by the day. I... Well, we'll let you hear for yourself. What... Yes, sir. One moment. Just let me... Are you tired of being weak? A victim? Then come to the new Citadel. And leave that world behind. We will make you a modern man. Half human, half machine. Stripped of all your pain and frailties. You're born child of the Citadel, an evolved angel, serving the god of the future. And what a future it will be. Soon, the whole world will be ours, and all of humanity remade in our image. Soon, your exterminating angels will be their nest. Spread their wings east, west, north, and south. We will. Charmin, ain't it? If these broadcasts aren't just the ravings of a madman, then there are threats beyond our map greater than any we ever dreamed of. These threats must be assessed and addressed, and quickly. I have no idea how long before these angels spread their wings, but if and when they do, we want to know which direction they're coming from. Rangers, the entire Citadel is counting on you. The entire territory. You must find that tower. And as soon as you damn well can. Now get going. And good luck. Ranger Command out. Something bad is coming. I wonder if it's going to be any worse than what I've already seen. I mean, I did see some of those massive slicer dicers. Which seemed pretty damn bad. But maybe something even worse is out there. I wonder how big this DeMonta is. I guess we're about to find out. I mean, I've heard so much about it that I'm expecting it to be a very large place. What the hell? What happened to you? You pity the poor pacifist, pierced in profoundly painful places. <laughs> okay. Piece of alliterative poetry or something to describe her death. Blow dryer? Huh? Hold on, what's the description for that?
smells like burnt hair. I guess that's my welcome to Demonta. There's another body. What? There's so many planes. F A. Bludgeoned, bloody, and bruised, the body bears a bandolier. <laughs> what is with these alliterations? Somebody was having fun this day. Okay, let's see if this one has an alliterative description, too. You spot something a surgeon should supervise, shielded from simple sight on the slashed stiff. Hmm. Turret behind that wall. Whoa, what the hell? Okay, we have an ambush. These things can do whirlwind spins. And that thing can shoot me from all the way over there, over the wall. Actually, that, it can shoot me through the wall. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, we need to kill these things fast. This is going to be painful with this turret here. Yeah, I think the turret's the main concern. Let's get out of the AoE range. And then let's just kill this turret. Um, uh, I could take a shot at you if I move. Let's do that. We need to kill this thing. Oh, damn it, it's still not in range. Fuck. Nice. Let's not go up to the dirt with a shotgun. It's a rather bad idea. Sight blocked. Oh, you know what? I totally forgot about Yulia's energy weapon. Would it have the range? Maybe. Hmm. No, it actually wouldn't have had the range. This probably will kill it. I bother bursting. Nah. Their turns aren't going to come up again for a while. We'll have plenty of time to save our ammunition. In fact, let's just shotgun that thing. Taking so much damage. Gonna run out of medkits at this rate.
This is creepy. Someone chopped up some bodies and put them in this chest. Oh yeah, we gotta try on the hat. Where did it go? There it is, the fishing hat. Let's see what that looks like. No. A shoddily constructed wall. Mm hmm. Wait, I'm sorry. Carefully examining the crate, Yulia finds an alarm. But it's a wall. <laughs> it's a wall, it's not a crate. What? Okay, so even if I broke that, if I didn't disable it, I would have gotten ambushed anyway. That's good to know. is coming? Nope. Or nothing else, I should say, because it looks like robots have taken over. Yep. Another surgeon alliteration. So, med pack? Yep. Okay, there could be slicer dicers hidden in the fog of war, so I want to be careful here. Is that? Yep, there's a slicer dicer right there. Um, <laughs> you can just stay here. It, is the disco bot laying down a, a fat beat? What the hell? Is that a debuff? <laughs> what is it doing? Uh, now afflicted by Disco Bot Scan Effect. Okay, what does that do? You've been strobed by a Disco Bot. And not only are you suddenly much more likely to be shot, but you are experiencing an almost irresistible urge to do the boogaloo. Damn you, Disco Bot. Also, this thing just got really, really close. Okay. Uh, we need... Do we need to kill this? Does it matter? It's, it seems like it makes us more likely to get shot. But it doesn't seem to decrease our aim or anything like that. Maybe I don't care. I think I do care, though. Okay, let's kill this thing right now. Can we kill it before it gets a turn? No. No, we can't. We really, really can't kill it. 
We have Theodore and Corrin Kane, my two most useless combat people. And then the Slicer Dicer's gonna get a turn. Shit. And my people are all clumped up. That's not good. Okay, Corn Kane. It all comes down to you, okay? Get him. Yeah. Good, Corn Kane. Did it just run away? Because I'm okay with that. I'm not okay with that, though. Okay, that actually wasn't too bad. Alright, we got this. We're good. Yeah, let's go for a headshot. Because it's 95% uh, 95 chance to hit. Ooh, okay. We're fine. Wait. Didn't I just attack with the shotgun? What well, how come she still has eight AP? Oh my god. The game bugged. I can't end her turn. I can't shoot. End. Reload. Today is just not my day. Can I save while in combat? Nope. <sighs> okay, I'll be right back. Okay, this is roughly where I was before. So let's go ahead and kill the Slicer Dicer. Yeah, let's burst fire it. It's gonna do some AoE damage to us, but it should be fine. Okay, and now I can end my turn, right? All right, we're fine. Oh, I should have headshot it. Whoops. I uh, don't need to do a double shot there. These things have three armor. This thing's threshold is three. Hmm. Eh, I guess I'll still shoot it. Damn, I should have done a headshot again. Keep forgetting to do that. Okay. It actually worked this time, thank god. Copy, Echo One. Congratulations, Echo One. Still need to distribute the attribute points to... What is it, Theodore? Yeah, he needs it. Now Vulture's Cry needs it, too. But that's a pretty serious decision, and I think I'll save it for later. Okay, weaponsmithing... Well, everything's at 6, so I suppose it doesn't really matter which one I do. Let's do combat. Five skill points. Hmm. Let's do leadership. Five skill points. Let's just save hers for now. Okay. The 
the history of Davis Monthan Air Force Base. Oh, that's what this place is, isn't it? De Monta Davis Monthan. Yeah. <laughs> pocket protector. You can't find the pocket this was supposed to protect. Alright, so yeah, tell me about this place. Davis Monthan Air Force Base is named for Lieutenants Samuel H. Davis and Oscar Monthan, two natives of Tucson, Arizona, and pilots during World War I, who died in separate military aircraft accidents in the years following the war. In 1925, a year after Monthan had passed and four years after Davis died, Tucson City Council purchased 1,280 acres of land southeast of town to locate the city's municipal airport. Construction was completed in 1927, and the world-famous aviator Charles Lindbergh formally dedicated the, dedicated the site in honor of the two deceased airmen. This site would later become the heart of the Davis Monthan Air Force Base. While primarily a civilian airbase for years, in 1940, with the war effort ramping up for World War II, the War Department officially established an Army Air Force Base in Tucson. Davis Monthan soon became home to newly assigned units such as the 1st Bombardment Wing and 31st Air Base Group. The base was officially named Davis Monthan Field. As the war progressed, it was used for training and deployment of B-17 Fortress and B-24 Liberator bombers, key to the war effort. Following the war, Davis Monthan continued operating both as a storage for Army Air Force planes, Tucson's dry climate making it an ideal location for preservation, as well as a base of operation for bombers. In 1948, it was officially redesignated the Davis Monthan Air Force Base. In 1953, the first jets came to DM in the form of four Lockheed T-33 shooting stars, right, uh, right after completion of a new runway able to serve these jets. Strato jets and fighter interceptor jets followed. All training was focused on eventual missions against the US's prime antagonist, the USSR. In the 1960s, DiEM was officially selected as the site of an Intercontinental Ballistic Missile ICBM, wing, as well as the announcement of 18 sites around Tucson being selected for the construction of Titan II missile silos. From 1961 to 1962, construction on the appropriate bunker facilities, blast lock doors, and the required electronics were completed. In the 1970s, Davis Monthan continued to be used as a training site for worldwide deployment. In 1975, jurisdiction of DM was officially transferred from Strategic Air Command to Tactical Air Command. In 1981, the 836th Air Division activated, and activity in DM was slowly but surely ramped up. Still primarily a training base, the activity of bomber training was increased to prepare for the seemingly inevitable conflict with the USSR. With many Air Force units at the ready, as well as its ICBM facilities. Davis Monthan will no doubt play a major part in whatever challenges the U.S. will face in the future. Well, that would explain why there's so many planes around here, since it is an Air Force base. And I guess that explains why there were so many airplanes at the silo number 7 as well. Yeah, so for those nuclear weapons, it looks like there were 18 sites around Tucson constructed for constructed with those Titan II missile silos. Damn. That's a lot of nukes. Now hold on, let me check something. See, I've heard that there's some way... Like, there's something in DeMonta that is related to this, this quest here to go back to the... Back to freeing Happy Valley from the Red Scorpions. So I'm trying to think of connections to Commander Danforth and the Red Scorpions in the Happy Valley. 
was thinking maybe there was some relation between what I read about the Air Force Base and Commander Danforth, but I can't think of one. And there's also still that place that I heard about from... What was it, Dr. Kyle? When she was telling me about the place that... was uh, a place that had a bunch of, like, robotics and stuff like that. Which sounds juicy. Sounds like it would have what I'm looking for. As far as the replacement tread, I think. For the thing outside of the, uh... The prison. That robot that needs to be repaired. Bachowski? Are you... Wait, isn't that the Bachowski? Hello? Yeah, it's you. You recognize that ugly face? It's Red. The scrap metal uh, traitor from outside the prison. Hi. I'm so desperate I'll even ask Rangers for help. Came up here looking for salvage and a bunch of robots came in behind me. I barricaded myself in, but they ain't leaving. Can you help a fella out? Sure. Fantastic. There's a door down by the tail. You're gonna have to fight your way through, but I got a line on some great cargo if you make it. Oh, uh, let's see. What's the easiest way there? Let's see, where, where do my people want to go? That way? Okay. Well, let's not rush. There's probably another ambush afoot. Does this chest have an alarm on it? Damn it! Stupid wall looks exactly the same as the other one, but for some reason this one is unbreakable. There's no way I can just walk up to that door and open it. Thresher Klar. God, it's like a zombie. Looks like it wants in. Oh, I think that's the tower I need to attach the repeater to. No ambush? This is too easy. A gigantic plane lies on a mound of junk. It's missing its wings, and its nose is tipped up into the air at a shallow angle, while its tail is buried in trash. One of the back doors is open. Dat resolution. Okay, you're saved. Hello? Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Wait a minute, so this plane is like four times longer on the inside than it is on the outside? What? Oh shit. The thing doesn't even have a head. It's creepy. <laughs> Look at him, just waiting for him to beat down the door. Okay, uh. Let's shoot them from as far as possible and let them. Come, whoa, okay. Um, I just noticed there's a huge spider on my desk. Hi. How you doing? You're going away from me, right? Yeah, just keep going that way. Okay, bye. It's a wolf spider. It's okay. They're nomadic. They don't like to stick around. Anyway, um, yeah, let's let them come through the doorway. So, hold on. Who has the highest range? Is it you? I think it's your gun, right? Uh, do we both have the same? No, actually, hers is a little bit further. Okay. Um, 
if I spread my people out, then we're not going to be able to shoot through the doorway. So maybe I don't want to spread them out. Because if I spread them out, then they're not going to be able to shoot anybody unless they're, like, at a weird angle through the doorway. So I'm actually going to leave my people like this. Let's... <laughs> this is probably going to be a bad idea, but let's just see what happens. I'm just going to crouch everybody. There's probably going to be a lot of friendly fire. Okay, is a headshot worth it? Nah, eh, not with that many hit points. Let's... Uh, yeah, I guess I'll ambush. Well, you can move, I mean... There's no point in you staying there. Not bad. What's your armor? Five? Okay. Energy weapon is very good against this thing. Just out of range, but we can fix that. Okay, we're good. These things are no problem. actually kind of cute. Yeah, let's not bother bursting. This is awkward. Can I angle it so that I can shoot right in between my two people? <laughs> I actually can. Okay, just... Don't move, Theodore. Or Helen. Come on, unlock the door, it's us. No problem, Bajowski. Looks like we gotta level up too. Congratulations, Who was it? Uh, Yulia. Oh, she's level 20 now. Got an attribute point to distribute. Let's do that later, three points. Let's save those for now. Alright, what have you got for me? Don't know why I should trust you after you jerked my brother Rick around, but here's the deal. I came up here to get a bird's eye view, because I was looking for something. I didn't see it, but I know it's somewhere in the graveyard. An old scavenger told me there's a hidden treasure, and all I had to do was find a plane with the words Sierra M M Madre Air Freight painted on the side. And that plane is the treasure. Now, I was planning on looking for it myself. But with all these crazy robots running around killing folks, I could use a little extra firepower. What do you say I hook up with you to find it? And we make an even split between us. Sound like a deal? Hell yeah. Oh, I thought maybe he'd be a permanent party member, but nah, he's just a tag along. Because I would not mind somebody with an actual weapon to replace... Corin Kane. In fact, why don't we go ahead and make Corin Kane marginally more useful? What does he use? Bladed weapons? Let's give him a better weapon, because this thing just seems to freaking suck. I don't know if I have a better bladed weapon or if I should just put some grip tape on his. Uh, let's just look at the price. Okay, so his is worth 150. That's worth 45, so that's garbage. 
think I've got a knife. Somewhere? Maybe. Maybe I sold it. Hmm. I don't see it. Alright, let me see if I can get some grip tape. Alright, 50-50. Come on. Yeah. There we go. Costs one less AP. He still completely sucks, but at least he sucks a little bit less. Alright, so we're looking for a plane with some littering on the side. Sierra Madre. Well, you know what? I should probably end this episode before it becomes really, really long. I always just have to stop myself. So yeah, this has been a weird episode. It's been very weird between... I mean, there's three main weird things that have happened. And that's the realization that the canyon... The Canyon of Titan is completely inaccessible for some inexplicable reason. And then there's the fact that Demonta is just right here. I thought it was even further east, but apparently it's just right there. And then there was the weird encounter with that salesman who kind of wanted to sell me stuff and kind of just wanted to steal from me, it seems like. And then there's the weird bugging out that required me to reload my save game, so I don't know. It's been a weird one. I've been thrown off my game. I just feel awkward for some reason. But hopefully things will start making more sense from here on out. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.